Madam President, Commissioners, Chief Crowley, City Attorney, uh, Elliot, the Administration, and guests. My name is Eric Scott, Captain 2, Paramedic, proudly serving as your Public Information Officer. And today we are here to recognize one of our captains that was actually off duty, but he jumped into action and assisted physically lifting a car off of a 14-year-old boy that was pinned underneath it. Wow. The boy had been riding his bicycle uh, in a parking lot where he was tragically run over. Before we go into all the incident details, it would be appropriate to please ask our own um, Captain Jason Jamal to please stand near the podium. Now, the incident took place in the city of Camarillo on August 5th, 2022. Now, our friends at Ventura County Fire Department were responding to a vehicle versus pedestrian. This was at the Camarillo Outlet parking lot, very large area. They arrived on scene, they did find this 14-year-old boy that was pinned underneath a Toyota Camry. He was behind the front years, uh, behind the front wheels and was trapped under the center of the car when they arrived. Now tragically, he was run over while riding his bike in that parking lot. As you can imagine, that's a very chaotic scene with a lot of shoppers, a lot of vehicles that were driving through that area. So we would like to certainly commend our friends at uh, Ventura County Fire Department for their great work. They tried to bring uh, control of chaos and bring command structure to the scene while their paramedic then went underneath and tried to get a visualization of that boy and make a quick visual uh, assessment. And that's where they rapidly realized the gravity of this incident and the traumatic injuries left this boy pulseless and not breathing. So that's when they quickly stated to everyone on scene that they needed to lift this car off of that boy. The on-duty Ventura fire captain determined that there wasn't time to wait for another resource to take that time to come. They didn't have the hydraulic lifting tools to be able to uh, bring that car up. And that's where our mm -hmm. off-duty LAFD captain, Jason Jamal, and also another off-duty uh, Ventura County Sheriff officer jumped into action. They physically lifted the car one to two feet up allowed just enough room for Ventura County firefighters to pull that boy out from underneath the car. Now, as mentioned, the boy's heart had stopped breathing, so they had to have life-saving CPR, advanced life support that took place, all the way to the hospital, where fortunately, they did have a return of spontaneous circulation, meaning that his heart began to beat again. So thankfully that boy is alive today and is making continued improvements due to the quick action of members like Captain Jamal who went above and beyond to manually lift that vehicle up and then provide a life-saving intervention. Um, I've had the privilege of having continued conversations with our friends at Ventura County Fire Department and uh, this is the first time that we have multiple certificates to provide Captain Jamal, so here we have a certificate from the Ventura County Board of Supervisors um, that is being presented to him. Really we nice. have a certificate from a member of Congress, Julia Brownlee, mm -hmm. a congressional recognition. We also have, wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> we have a certificate of recognition from the assembly member, Jackie Irwin. Mm -hmm. And uh, most importantly, we have a certificate from uh, his own fire chief Crowley, which I'll read to you briefly. It states on August 5th, 2022 at Camarillo Outlets Mall in Camarillo, California, you displayed bravery and initiative while off duty. Your prompt actions successfully rescued a trapped child. The city of Los Angeles Fire Department acknowledges your heroism in saving the life of a Ventura County resident. Presented this 7th day of November, 2023, Kristen M. Crowley, fire chief. Okay, so, so with that, I think we also have to recognize somebody else very special in the crowd here. This is uh, Captain Jason Jamal's mom, Emma. So if you could stand, ma'am. Thank you. We had the opportunity to chat a little bit before we started, and I, I just uh, had to smile at you, ma'am, and, and say you raised an amazing human being. So we're so grateful that you share your son with us, and uh, Captain Mall, super proud of you and what you're able to do. And I think, uh, as we all know, we're, we're never off duty, and I think that you uh, obviously stepped up when you need to, 
as everybody else would. And I'm happy that we're able to recognize you for your efforts. And thank you for representing the LEFD. Uh, would you like to say just a few words for us? Come on, step up, Cap. Let's go. <laughs> and, br and bring your mom with you. Yeah, come on up, Miss. Come on, yes. Mom. Come on, up, Mom. <laughs> yeah. I think the only thing I'll say is uh, we're always on duty, even when you're back to school shopping. Um, <laughs> whenever you can make a difference, you go out there and you do it, and that's just our job. So. A man of, of so just a few words, but thank you. Thank you for that, Cap Jamal. A few words. Miss Jamal, thank you so much. Ma'am, you, you, you can also say a little something about your son. Yeah. Oh, dear. Well, he's doing what he wanted to do since he was, I was telling him over here, I should have brought that picture. I took a picture of him when he was 12. At, the, at that time, they had a children's museum here, mm -hmm. dressed like a fireman. So yes, he, awesome. He's doing what he, he loved to do since forever. Wow. So. Great. Well, thank you for sharing him with us. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>